a cog in the machine. Part one, the desolation of terror. The tortured skies of terror wept as I, Brother Varian of the Ultramarines, stood sentinel on the blood-soaked plains. My cerulean armor, adorned with the sacred sigils of the Emperor, seemed to dull in the shadow of the impending tempest. The scent of ozone mingled with the acrid stench of death, a foreboding symphony heralding the battle of terror. The fires of rebellion raged across the once glorious fields where the seed of humanity had been sown. Now it was a desolation of bodies, both loyal and traitorous, locked in a grotesque battle of death. The ground, churned and scarred by the boots of countless warriors, whispered the tales of countless lives extinguished in the name of a vision twisted by treachery. As the cosmic tempest gathered momentum, I couldn't escape the unrelenting gaze of the crimson sky. It mirrored the rivers of blood flowing from the veins of terror, the very lifeblood of the Imperium. The air vibrated with psychic energies, the fabric of reality itself unraveling as the forces of chaos sought to claim the sacred world. Amidst the fervor, my ceramide-clad form stood resolute, bolter in hand. The sacred weapon, a conduit of righteous fury, felt heavy in my grasp, a relic passed down through the annals of Ultramarine's history. It whispered promises of cleansing fire and the salvation of humanity. Around me, my brothers, stoic warriors in their indomitable power armor, formed a living bulwark against the tide of heresy. Yet, within the mighty legions, the seeds of betrayal had taken root. Primarchs, once the paragons of loyalty, now led their legions in a dance of death against the very Imperium they had sworn to protect. The banner of the War Master, Horus Lupercal, loomed above the battlefield like a twisted specter. Once a brother, now a harbinger of damnation, he had succumbed to the seduction of chaos. His forces, a vile amalgamation of traitor legions, surged forward with a hunger for the destruction of all that was sacred. The first clashes were like the opening chords of a malevolent symphony. Bolt of fire echoed through the air, drowning out the screams of the dying. Explosions painted the horizon in hues of orange and red, a macabre display of pyrotechnics on the canvas of war. In the grim theater of battle, my mind focused on the singular purpose ingrained in my very being, to defend the Imperium, to uphold the will of the Emperor. The mantra echoed in my mind, drowning out the maddening whispers of the warp. As the battle unfolded, I found myself facing a corrupted reflection of my own kin. A brother, clad in armor that bore the scars of heresy, emerged from the smoke and haze. His eyes, once mirrors reflecting the light of the Emperor, now glowed with a perverse radiance. Betrayer! I spat through the Vox grill of my helm, the word a condemnation that hung heavy in the air. The traitor raised his weapon, a grotesque mockery of the bolt I cradled in my own. There was no room for words, only the grim realization that we had become monsters in the eyes of the Emperor. The clash was brutal, an intimate dance of violence amidst the chaos. Bolter rounds tore through the air, finding their mark with lethal precision. The ground beneath us trembled with each clash of ceramite, the very earth bearing witness to the tragedy that unfolded. The corrupted brother fought with a ferocity that bespoke the twisted bonds of brotherhood now severed. As blows rained down, I glimpsed a flicker of recognition in his eyes. A momentary pause, a fracture in the veneer of corruption. Was there still a trace of the loyal brother beneath the layers of heresy? But there was no room for hesitation in the crucible of war. My Baltus spoke with a language of thunder, its righteous fury tearing through the corrupted form before me. As the traitor crumpled, a semblance of agony contorting his features, the weight of loyalty and duty bore down upon me like a lead shroud. The battlefield was a tableau of desolation, a reflection of the internal conflict that waged within my very soul. Each fallen comrade, every shattered dream, resonated with the harsh reality of our grim duty. The cost of victory felt like a betrayal, 
a sin etched in the annals of the Imperium's history. Yet there was no time for reflection. The war drummed on, an unrelenting march towards damnation. Amidst the destruction, I pressed forward, a loyal servant haunted by the spectre of regret. The jarring reality of our grim duty manifested in every footfall, a solemn dirge echoing in the void. In the shadow of the War Master, I fought on, a solitary figure in a sea of despair, torn between duty and the harrowing truth that even victory came at a price too steep for redemption. Part 2 Echoes of Betrayal The battlefield stretched before me like a tapestry woven with the threads of anguish. The wails of the dying resonated through the shattered ruins, blending with the mechanical thud of ceramide-clad boots. In the distance, the silhouette of the vengeful spirit, the accursed flagship of the War Master, hung like a spectre in the warp-stained sky. As I forged ahead, my mind became a battleground of its own. The psychic turmoil intensified with each step, the whispers of the warp clawing at the edges of my consciousness. I clenched my jaw beneath the protective confines of my helm, seeking refuge in the cold embrace of discipline. The battle demanded focus, but the weight of the fallen weighed heavily on my soul. A squad of corrupted marines emerged from the ruins, their movements a grotesque mockery of the tactical precision drilled into them during the days of Brotherhood. I tightened my grip on the bolter, its sanctified barrel aimed at the approaching aberrations. Each pull of the trigger felt like a sledgehammer, striking at the foundations of my loyalty. The bolter's roar drowned out the cries of the corrupted as righteous fury rained upon them. Armor-piercing rounds tore through corrupted ceramite, sending grotesque forms to the cold embrace of death. The stench of charred flesh mingled with the acrid scent of expended ammunition, a grim perfume that permeated the battlefield. As the last traitor fell, I scanned the surroundings. The ruins were a testament to the grandeur that once adorned terror, now reduced to a macabre playground for the forces of chaos. The air shimmered with an unnatural energy, the very fabric of reality stained by the malevolent forces at play. A voice echoed through the vox, cutting through the psychic static that tainted the air. Bravarian, the vengeful spirit moves ahead. Push through. The fate of the Imperium hinges on the battle within its accursed halls. The voice belonged to Captain Octavian, a stalwart leader who had weathered countless storms by my side. The resolve in his words stirred something within me, a renewed sense of purpose amidst the maelstrom of doubt. The journey through the war-torn landscape felt like a descent into the heart of damnation. Every step brought me closer to the looming silhouette of the flagship, the epicenter of the rebellion. The psychic aura emanating from that vessel was palpable, a cacophony of discordant energies that resonated with the anguished cries of the fallen. The vengeful spirit's grandeur, once a testament to the might of the Imperium, now stood as a twisted monument to betrayal. As I approached its looming entrance, the gateway to the belly of the beast, the air became charged with malevolence that clawed at the edges of sanity. My bolter remained at the ready as I crossed the threshold, stepping into the shadows that engulfed the interior. The air was thick with a stench of corruption, the architecture a fusion of imperial grandeur and the perverse aesthetic of chaos. It was a desecration of all that we held sacred. The corridors echoed with the distant sounds of battle. The crimson emergency lights flickered like the lifeblood of a dying entity. My steps reverberated in the hollow expanse, each footfall a grim reminder of the path we tread, where loyalty had become a double-edged blade. I rounded a corner, and there, in the flickering half-light, stood a figure cloaked in shadows. The silhouette was unmistakable, a traitor marine, his armor adorned with a profane iconography of chaos. His helm, a grotesque mask, turned to regard me with eyes that glowed with an otherworldly malevolence. A shiver crawled down my spine, a momentary tremor in the face of the looming confrontation. The traitor marine raised a corrupted bolter, the weapon of betrayal, aimed directly at my heart. There was no room for words, no pleas for redemption in the cold silence that enveloped us. 
The Baltus spat unholy rounds, each projectile a searing reminder of the chasm that had opened between us. I dove behind a shattered pillar, the structure providing scant cover against the onslaught. Malta rounds impacted the surroundings, sending debris cascading like the tears of a wounded world. I returned fire, each shot guided by the unyielding resolve to purge the heresy that stained the sacred halls. The echoing gunfire seemed to drown in the vastness of the vengeful spirit, a microcosm of the larger battle that raged within the Imperium itself. The traitor marine advanced with a malevolent grace, his movements a grotesque dance that mirrored the chaos that had birthed him. The bolt of fire intensified, a relentless barrage that sought to snuff out the last embers of the loyalty within my soul. In the relentless exchange of firepower, I glimpsed a flicker of recognition in the eyes of the traitor marine. Was there a vestige of the brother he had once been, buried beneath the layers of corruption? The thought lingered in the recesses of my mind, a seed of doubt sown in the fertile soil of war-torn loyalty. As the firefight reached its zenith, a bolt found its mark. The traitor marine staggered, his corrupted form convulsing in the throes of agony, the twisted mask of his helm contorted, revealing a visage that spoke of both torment and familiarity. The corridor fell into an eerie silence as the traitor marine crumpled to the ground. His armor, once a symbol of brotherhood, now lay broken and tarnished. I stood amidst the aftermath, the echo of betrayal reverberating through the desolate halls of the vengeful spirit. The psychic residue lingered in the air, a tangible reminder that the battle within the Imperium mirrored the cosmic conflict that raged beyond the stars. I pressed forward, the path ahead a twisted labyrinth leading deeper into the heart of the rebellion. As I ventured into the unknown, the internal turmoil intensified. The jarring clash of duty and the grim reality of our actions became an unrelenting cacophony in the recesses of my mind. The corridors of the vengeful spirit seemed to close in, the shadows whispering secrets of damnation. The battle within the flagship was not just a physical confrontation, it was a reckoning with the very essence of loyalty and sacrifice. In the desolation of war, I trod the path laid before me, a solitary figure in a sea of shadows, torn between duty and the harrowing truth that even victory came at a price too steep for redemption. Part 3. A Cog in the Cosmic Machine the corridors of the vengeful spirit twisted and turned like the labyrinth of the damned. Shadows danced along the walls, mocking the flickering emergency lights that cast long, distorted silhouettes. Each step echoed with the weight of inevitability, a march towards a destiny veiled in the cosmic haze of war. As I delved deeper into the flagship, the echoes of distant battles reverberated through the steel arteries. The war within the vengeful spirit mirrored the greater conflict consuming the Imperium a reflection of the eternal struggles against the encroaching darkness. A vast chamber unfolded before me, its enormity shrouded in an ethereal gloom. Pillars of dark obsidian rose like ancient sentinels, their surfaces etched with profane symbols. At the center of the chamber, an altar adorned with the symbols of chaos stood as a blasphemous monument. Before the altar, knelt figures clad in tattered robes, their chanting a dissonant hymn that resonated with the warp's malevolent whispers. At the heart of the congregation stood a figure, his aura pulsating with an otherworldly radiance. The War Master, Horus Lupercal. The architect of betrayal cast a long shadow upon the unholy gathering. My bolter remained raised, its barrel aimed at the heart of the corrupted assembly. The moment hung in the air a tense tableau that encapsulated the cosmic struggle between loyalty and heresy. The gaze of the War Master locked onto mine, his eyes, once noble, now reflected the chaotic storm that raged within. Be gone, loyalist. The War Master's voice echoed through the chamber, a guttural resonance that sent shivers through the very fabric of reality. Your futile resistance only prolongs the inevitable. Join us, or perish, in the fading light of your false emperor." The words reverberated in the hollow expanse, a tempting whisper that sought to erode the foundations of my unwavering loyalty. 
yet amidst the seductive allure of chaos, a spark of defiance blazed within me. The Emperor's will, a lodestar in the abyss, guided me through the maelstrom of conflicting emotions. The corrupted congregation surged forward, a tide of heresy unleashed upon the lone figure standing against the cosmic tide. Bolt of fire tore through the air, a hailstorm of retribution that sought to quell the unholy fervor. The cavernous chamber echoed with a clash of war, a symphony of discord that resonated with the desolation of the Imperium. In the chaotic melee, I fought with a stoic determination, each bolt around a testament to the unwavering loyalty coursing through my veins. The traitor marines fell before the righteous onslaught, their corrupted forms crumpling in the wake of retribution. Yet for every heretic struck down, another rose to take their place. The War Master, a towering colossus wreathed in the malevolent energies of the warp, advanced with a preternatural grace. His every movement was a testament to the corrupted might bestowed upon him by dark powers. As the distance between us closed, the air crackled with the impending clash of titans. The bolter in my hands roared, unleashing a volley of rounds aimed at the heart of the War Master. Each impact seemed to dissipate against an unseen barrier, the very essence of chaos shielding him from the wrath of the Emperor's faithful. A realization dawned. This was a battle not just against a traitorous brother, but against the cosmic forces that fueled his malevolence. In the shadow of the War Master, I fought on, a lone figure amid the storm of chaos. The psychic turmoil intensified, the air saturated with the dark energies that emanated from the corrupted assembly. Yet amidst the cacophony, a singular truth emerged. The futility of my existence in the grand tapestry of the universe. The War Master's gaze bore into mine, an abyssal stare that seemed to pierce through the layers of ceramite and flesh. Your struggle is meaningless, loyalist, he intoned his voice a symphony of derision. In the grand expanse of the cosmos, you are but a fleeting spark extinguished by the inexorable march of chaos. The realization struck like a mortal blow, a revelation that transcended the boundaries of the physical and the metaphysical. I, Brother Varian, a stalwart defender of the Imperium, was but a minuscule cog in the vast machinery of the cosmos. My life, a fleeting breath in the infinity of existence, held no cosmic significance. As the War Master advanced, the psychic aura around him intensified, warping the very reality within the chamber. Balter rounds became feeble sparks against the overwhelming darkness that enveloped me. A profound sense of insignificance washed over, a bitter elixir that mingled with a sweat of exertion. In the final confrontation, the War Master's outstretched hand became a conduit for the warp's chaotic energies. An ethereal storm coalesced, its tendrils reached out to ensnare my very soul. I felt the oppressive weight of the universe bearing down upon me, the cosmic machinery grinding away at the essence of my being. A searing pain tore through every fiber of myself, a spiritual rending that transcended the physical wounds of battle. In that moment, as the darkness claimed me, I glimpsed the vast expanse of the cosmos, indifferent, eternal, unyielding. The bolter fell from my grasp, its sanctified barrel touching the unholy ground. I crumpled, a broken figure cast aside in the cosmic dance of fate. The War Master's laughter echoed through the chamber, a mockery that resonated with the cold truth of my inconsequential existence. In my final moments, as the cosmic storm consumed me, I embraced the void with a bitter acceptance. The battle for terror, the clash against the War Master, the struggles that defined my existence, all dissolved into the infinite expanse of nothingness. I, Brother Varian, who had fought and fallen, a solitary echo lost in the cosmic cacophony. In the grand tapestry of the universe, my life was but a fleeting ember, extinguished by the relentless march of eternity. The universe cared not for the struggles of a lone warrior. 
In its vast expanse, I was but a forgotten whisper in the cold winds of cosmic indifference. And so, the cosmic machinery ground on, oblivious to the insignificant spark that had briefly flickered against the unforgiving void. <laughs>